The first step is to install your sheathing against the steel stud wall. Screw the sheathing boards onto the steel studs. Install screws every 8 inches or as required by local conditions. Pencil in a vertical line so you know where your studs are and easily measure the 8 inches using the distance between your thumb and baby finger. Next, wipe down the wall with a sponge and water. Then, treat your joints with Aran Water Barrier and Fabric Tape. First, apply a coat of Aran Water Barrier, then the Fabric Tape, then seal it with another coat of Aran Water Barrier. If any screws were oversunk, dab a little Aran Water Barrier to seal them. Now, apply a coat of Aran Water Barrier to the entire surface, 15 to 22 mils thick. You can check the thickness by using a film gauge. Drag it about an inch down the wall and check your read. When this is dry, apply a second coat, again 15 to 22 mils thick, and let it dry. The next step is to install the pre-bent metal flashing and drip edges as required, making sure everything is level. Mixing flashing mortar. The bucket comes with two parts A, two parts B, and two parts C. You can mix it all at once or you can do half now and half later. Mix parts A and B to get a uniform color and then add part C. When you're done mixing, let it slake for 5 to 7 minutes and then you're ready to apply. Load up your paintbrush and then fill in the gaps between the pre-bent metal flashing and drip edges and the wall up to an eighth of an inch. Now it's time to install your Z-channel, or Z-girts, and rigid insulation. First start with the Z-channel, screwing it in and making sure it's level and plumb. Put in one screw every 8 inches up and down the wall. Next, install the rigid insulation. Screw in another Z-channel, and then repeat the process. Now it's time to install your Gridworks channels. First, take the bottom channel and screw in screws at every point where the Z-channel intersects the Gridworks channel. Because the Z-channels and Gridworks channels are made of different metals, they must not touch. Put a spacer behind the Gridworks channel to avoid direct contact between dissimilar metals. Do this at every point as you work up the wall. Next, set a string horizontally to determine the fat spot in the wall. Then, insert additional spacers at thinner spots to ensure the wall is level and plumb. When you're done with the bottom channel, clamp on temporary vertical channels to help your workflow up the wall. Make sure everything is level and plumb and move on with your Gridworks channels using a 9 inch spacer as an aid to set the next channel. Repeat the process ensuring the channels are properly spaced and level so that the wall is plumb. When you hit the point in the wall where you intend to use a bullnose or a 4 inch stretcher, set the beams an inch apart. Then continue up the wall keeping the channels a standard 9 inches apart. Remember to put a screw in both the top and bottom of the channel along each Z channel. Then sweep out all of the channels getting rid of any debris. Now to put in your stone. Set the bottom of the stone in the track to begin. Place the foam tape on the underside of the L bracket and then squeeze the bead of silicone along the L bracket over the foam tape. Then set it in the top kerf of the stone. Next, positively engage the stone with your elbow and use the wooden mallet and a wooden block to click the stone into the system. Next, install the vertical water blockers by engaging them into the channel ensuring they click into place. This will act as your vertical joint. Move to the next stone, then slide your stones together. Repeat the process with profile errors clip and with smooth errors clip. Put the bottom of the stone into the track, cock the L bracket, then click the stone into the system. Follow that with your vertical water blockers, then slide your stones together.